What do you think, Aiden? Think we should dig up some of Lucky's old baby pictures? See if Monica's right? Oh, Nurse Weber! I'm glad to see that you're still here. I'm collecting signatures to back up Dr. Jackson's uh, order for that little boy's ventricular defect repair. I want to make sure that I have all the paperwork ready just in case the insurance company questions the procedure. Sure, gladly. And the last thing that mother needs is a fight with the insurance company. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you still doing here? That little boy should be at home in bed. Do you think he looks like Lucky? Are you sure you want to go down this road again? Well, Monica says he does, and I know she's seen Lucky's baby pictures. Okay, look. Aiden's father is Nicholas Cassidy. All the tests back that up. Now, as soon as you make your peace with that, better off for you and your child. You know what I see when I look in the mirror? Siobhan McKenna. I mean, I don't... I don't think about it any deeper than that. Because you're afraid to? I'm... I'm not a self-examiner by nature. Well, but even so, why do you think you want to go back to Port Charles? Responsibilities. I mean, I feel I feel guilty leaving Coleman in the lurch without his best waitress. Coleman. And I still owe a week's worth of rent on my room at Kelly's. Right. And upstate New York, it has its selling points. Mm -hmm. I mean, who needs speeches and people with funny accents when I could take you down in a snowball fight? I hate to break it to you, but you kind of have a funny accent. It's rude to point out. Look, I haven't changed since we've been in Ireland. I, I still have a tendency to trust and over-invest. I, uh, thought about that too. You might turn out to be a bad bet. But it's no worse than some guitar play in Romeo in some Spanish cafe. I mean, at least with you. Please proceed to gate number 12. You know, we could continue this debate on the plane, you know? <sighs> yeah. Well, the flight's about to leave, so we should get moving. Oh, well, it's a good thing. I, I already bought my ticket. This was like a formality, <laughs> wasn't it? Look at you. Jeez. Okay, come on. Flight. Thanks. Something wrong? You Siobhan McKenna. Well, that's the idea. Um, I'm afraid you can't return to the United States without a visa. How do you know Carly? First time I met her, I was with your little sister, Molly. Yeah, she was having a bad day. I tried to help her out. Yeah, Molly, Molly says he did. Anyway, Carly happened by. I saw her later at the Metro Court. I've run into her a couple of times since. And Carly's good people. I mean, if you're trying to score points with your poor Charles connections, you can oh, probably forget about that. The man asked how I know Carly. Just answering his question. Yeah, but you're a smart guy. I know you do your homework before you land somewhere, and Carly's a good person to have on your side in this town. I can't prove I didn't research her. All I can do is tell you I didn't. Whether you believe it or not, out of my control. Okay, what if Theo ordered you to grab Carly? Or Molly? I don't mess with kids. As far as Carly, I didn't know her from Adam when I hit town. If her name had been on the contract instead of Brenda's, yeah, I would have grabbed her. I am already light years late for this wedding, so this is... Guns? In my law firm? Are you insane? How many times have I told you I cannot be exposed to your alleged criminal activities? What is Mr. Butler doing being detained? He is supposed to be at the wedding, working security for Theo Hoffman. Theo Hoffman is the Balkan. You need to help me find him, now. Brenda and I became friends in 2007 when I was assigned to guard her. She was being stalked by an ex-boyfriend, that's where the cops were brought in. The other problem Brenda had is that she found out she was pregnant and she was terrified. She didn't want this guy or his family to have anything to do with the child she was carrying inside her. So I claimed I was the father and I signed a legal document giving up that claim. And I did it to 
protect Brenda and her unborn child. My, how convenient. You know, that, Carla, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there, there was no affair. There was no baby between the two of us. Just a secret between two people that has absolutely nothing to do with you. Sonny, are you buying this? Carly, shut up, sit down, or leave. Because I, 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 can't, I can't deal with you right now. I lied to you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was a lie of a mission, but it doesn't matter. It was still a lie. I hid this huge part of my life from you. And it's amazing because I actually complicated your already difficult relationship with your son. And I was going to tell you, and I didn't. Because I'm selfish. And I'm not good enough for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry I disappointed you. I do love you. You never stopped. I never will. I was pregnant, I just had this feeling that Aiden was Lucky's baby. Well, that's what you wanted. You had a baby to fix everything between you and Lucky. I know, I, I know, but I, I also believe in a mother's instinct. And honestly, I have never felt like, like Nicholas was his father. Elizabeth, look, there were two paternity tests sent to different labs. There is no question. Okay, but... Helena was lurking around. I mean, what if? What if she somehow changed the test? Okay. Why would Helena want to claim a Spencer as a Cassidy? I don't know. You're right. I, it doesn't make any sense. Elizabeth, look, you, you have far too much on your plate. Now, my advice would be that you focus on your work and you'd be happy that you have three healthy little boys. There is far too much pain and disappointment in this world. You do not need to be stirring up anymore. It does make sense that he would kind of look like Lucky because of Laura. Maybe I'm just seeing what I want to see. Well, I, I, I'm a citizen of the world. I mean, I can be a tourist anywhere I please, can't I? I'm afraid not. Your last day in the United States, you went past expiration date. So you'll have to apply for a visitor's visa. Well, how long is it going to take? Several weeks. Well, that's not going to work, is it? I mean, the plane's about to board. Excuse me. Um, Detective Spencer, Port Charles Police Department. Miss McKenna is a material witness in a murder case, and it's been very difficult to get her this far. I, I can't I can't let her go on a technicality. Ah, uh, yeah, but your rules are rules. I understand that, but Interpol's involved, okay? And that, that bumps it to international. And I can give you the contact info of the agent in charge of just call Agent Bates. He can tell you how important this witness is and how slippery she's been. And likely to remain so. I mean, I, I never wanted to testify in the first place, and so now it looks like I won't have to. Look, you, you can't let her walk away. It's nice knowing you, Detective. Wait. This is highly irregular, but given the circumstances, I'll allow passage on the flight. Thank you. And I'll make sure Miss McKenna gets her paperwork in order as soon as we're back in the States. Yeah, work fast. Wrap up your case quickly, Detective. Miss McKenna's stay in the United States is only limited to one month and one month only. I am beyond furious. Not just with Theo, but with myself. How could I have been so gullible? Theo, run. One hell of a cover. Don't blame yourself for being so gullible. Yeah, none of us saw it. I am going to eviscerate the New York partners. On their say-so alone, I gave that man complete access to all the information in this office. This is a disaster. This is an unmitigated I mean, disaster. We can't fix that right now. We just have to find him. 
You sure you have no idea where he is? Like I said, I'm not privy. Were you the only man hired for the job? As far as I know. Okay, Diane, you gotta pull everything you can find to give us insight on Theo Hoffman, go over cases, uh, the money he spent, who he pays, who he works with more than others. What about Brenda? I mean, she's safe for now, but we, ha we don't have much time because Theo's gonna make a move sooner rather than later. All right, I'm on it. But you have got to take your captive elsewhere. No offense intended, but I'm a big believer in deniability. Looks like we're going for a ride after all. Let's go. Well, that does not gladden my heart. Well, it's done. Keep me informed. What happened? Brenda's devil luck is holding up. She eluded capture and made it to the altar where somewhat of a scene ensued. Let me guess. The ex-Mrs. Corinthos threw herself on the ground and held her breath until her face turned blue. As it turns out, Brenda was pregnant in 2007. Dante Falconeri, the man who helped her cover up our son's murder, lent his name as the father and then fraudulently signed away his rights to protect the child from, I quote, that whack job and his powerful family, which can only mean that Brenda was pregnant with Alexander's baby when she shot him. She killed our son while carrying his only child, our grandchild. Did you know this? <laughs> <laughs>